beginning in child's pose. Take a stack of blankets, a bolster, or even a pillow from your bed. Slide it underneath the chest for support and gently spin the right cheek down. Allow the arms to rest alongside you. And just allow the body to become heavy as you become aware of the breath moving in and out through the nose. Closing the eyes, let the hips drop back toward the heels. Very gently picking the head up, just switch the direction and allow the left cheek to rest back down. Closing the eyes again, just allowing the mind to follow the pattern of the breath. In through the nose and gently back out through the nose. Seeing if you can, just allow this to be a special time that you carve out for yourself just to breathe and receive. As you're ready, gently picking the gaze back up, slide the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes and lift the hips coming into down dog. Reaching down, gently slide your blankets or your pillows forward just to the top of your mat. And then very gently, picking the right shin up, sliding it forward just in front of the pillows or the bolsters, setting up for single pigeon. Allow the chest to rest down, flipping the right cheek down onto the support that you have as the left leg extends back. The arms could even come in and wrap around your pillows or your blankets as you just continue to softly drop into the right hip. You can always add additional support by sliding a block or a blanket underneath the right hip. And take a moment here as you close the eyes just to notice that the face is soft, the jaw is soft, even the shoulders are softly sliding down the back away from the ears. The whole body is tension free you're just giving the entire weight of the body over into the mat and into the pillows or the bolster underneath you. See if you can just continue to explore the inner space. Eyes closed. Breath soft. And the mind just becoming increasingly quiet as you just get a little bit of distance between you and the busyness of life. As you're ready, picking the chest up, ground the hands, tuck the left toes and step the right foot back to downward facing dog, and then simply switch sides, slide the left shin forward, slide the right leg back, and as the left knee opens out to the left, allow the chest to rest back down, spinning the left cheek down onto your pillows or your blankets. And then check in, making sure that within the transition, no part of the body tensed. The shoulders are still softly sliding down away from the ears. And even that little spot between the eyes is soft. The muscles around the eyes. And even that soft space behind the ears. As much as you can, just being an active participant in the energy of surrender and release that's taking place here. If the mind starts to wander, just allowing yourself to come back to the rhythm and the flow of your breath. Let the breath be easy. very gently as you're ready, starting to come back into a deeper breath, slide the hands back underneath the shoulders as you gently pick the chest up, straightening the arms, tuck the right toes and step the left foot back to down dog, take a moment, ground the heels and then gently release the knees down toward the mat. 
Allow yourself to spin to face backwards, allowing the bolster to slide up right against your low back. As you lay back, allow the entire back body and the head to be supported as the soles of the feet come together and the knees open up away from each other. With the arms down by the sides, allow the very tips of the shoulder blades to press into the back of the heart. As the shoulders roll back, allow the breath to move right into the upper chest. Notice that here the head is supported. The head isn't tipping too far back. And there's just a sense of ease. If at any point in time the hips become tender, you could always slide blocks underneath the knees for support or extra blankets there. Just see if you can. Return to the breath, each opportunity you have to dig just a little bit deeper. Reaching down with the hands, gently close the knees back together, and with the hands behind the thighs, softly sit all the way back up. Reaching behind you, slide your support about two-thirds of the way down your mat, and then come and sit about a third of the way up on your blankets or your bolster, so that as you recline back, the shoulders can rest gently on the floor and the very top of the blankets or your pillows rest right underneath the shoulder blades. Bending the elbows, with the elbows in line with the shoulders, spread the collarbones wide as the very back of the head now rests on the mat. If it feels appropriate, you could extend the legs forward toward the front of the room or gently keep the soles of the feet down on the mat with the knees softly falling toward each other to keep the back body soft. As you close the eyes, just continue breathing the entire front body open. Notice if there's anywhere else you could be just a tiny bit softer. Maybe in the face, maybe in the breath. Just really give yourself the gift of this time to let go, to have a little bit of space. And as you're ready, slide the feet back underneath the knees and open the feet wider than your pillows or your bolster. Run the arms down by the sides and reaching underneath you, lift the hips up and gently slide the bolster forward so that the entire back body can rest on the floor. Cross the legs on top of your support and then place the left hand on the heart and the right hand on the belly as you just close the eyes. Just a simple, easy, cross-legged support here as you fill the hands with the breath. Noticing how deep the breath has become. Noticing the stillness in the body. And as you're ready, just switch the cross of the legs, opposite shin in front, as the knees continue to softly fall away from each other. And the hands continue to just fall and rise again with the breath. Taking an inhale, drawing the knees into the chest, wrap the hands around the knees, give yourself a squeeze in, and then reach down, slide your support parallel to the front edge of your mat and a little bit forward so that the knees are supported and the entire back can rest on the floor. Finding yourself in a final resting pose, arms by the sides, let the breath go taking this closing Shavasana and spending as much time as you need here today. Enjoy an opportunity to find a full and final rest. Namaste.
Namaste.